Among the fruits I've found in these semi-arid areas of northern Uganda where I'm farming from, a passion fruit is a fruit that is very, very loyal. In a way that when you give it good watering, like I told you for us to farm in semi-arid areas, you get rain today, tomorrow there is no rain. It's loyal in a way that you give it that little water which is available. It will still, you, will still give you a fruit. You give it that manure, it will give you the fruit you want. So I want to show you uh, why it is important to prune passion fruits, especially in these semi-arid areas. Number one, why do we do have to do this pruning? Snakes, especially the green ones, they enjoy hanging on this kind of a net which we use in these passion fruits. So if you don't do your pruning very well, like for example, if you have given it the good watering, like look at this one, it is the dry season, but all branches are coming from every corner. They are coming from everywhere. So all these branches, if they are left unattended to these ones, they will grow and climb to the top here. And when they climb to the top, they all build a canopy. That canopy will be a good place, very calm and cool, for snakes to take refuge when it is too hot. So we need to do pruning for these passion fruits. For example, when you see this one, when you look at this one here, we just left it with uh, four branches to move with. And these four branches, as they grew, they are already fruiting from this corner. They are already fruiting, like wherever you look around, they are giving us fruits. All over here, they are giving us fruits. All over here. So why do we need this pruning? To control those branches, which would be very many, and they bring snakes around. We have these green small ones. Uh, sometime when I had not known this trick that I have to prune at least twice in every month, I could find as I'm down here doing some weeding, a snake is just up here. So it could be scary. Then I was like, what should I do? So I've learned the trick at least twice in a month. I come and do this pruning to control these green snakes. They can hide in these leaves. And you may not know, is there a snake or not? The black ones, because for them can easily be identified, they take their time and don't enjoy hiding in these passion fruits. But the green small ones, they enjoy hiding in these passion fruits. They cling on these, they keep walking around and then they enjoy the cold weather that would come from these leaves. So we always try as much as we can to control these leaves. Starting from the bottom here, you control the branches from the bottom here. You go on pruning. You can see all over here we've been doing pruning, all here, here, here. Then here we left a few branches to come and they gave us some fruits. All over here we are pruning to control these snakes. Number two, why do we enjoy this pruning to be done twice a month? When you look here, I pray it is visible. There are some fruits which are coming from these uh, flowers the fruits are coming when pruning is done properly it will enable the sunshine to go through like even if i'm standing under here uh, sunshine can hit me that means it can reach these flowers these ones here then they give us the fruits that we need then number two, why you need to prune and how do we do the pruning? Besides the branches which are not productive, we also go for leaves which are dependent and they are not productive. Like this is a leaf. It has no passion fruit, it's keeping. We keep pruning them. Now here you can see there is a leaf and it is feeding this fruit here. So those ones, they are not supposed to go away. But all these ones which are not giving us anything they are not keeping any fruit we remove them like this we prune them out also number three why you need to do this pruning it enables the pollinators for example the bees to easily identify where there is a flower 
for example when you see this side i have a floor coming a very beautiful one and the sunshine can hit it when i put my hand here you can see it creates some kind of a shadow that means the sun can hit it and when the sun can hit something it can help the pollinators to to, to see where there is a flower very fast then they pollinate your passion fruits and they make for you the fruits that you need so we do this pruning at least uh, twice in a month to control these branches to be very many and make the canopy very thick such that snakes can go away then number two to enable these passion fruits fruit very well to enable the branches that are productive to stay the leaves which are not productive, they are dependents who are not productive to go off. Then also to enable the pollinators like the bees to see clearly where the flowers are. Yes, it can be the dry season and in the dry season flowers are falling off like some of them you can see they are drying off. But at least I'm telling you, always I tell you with this channel when you're farming with Christine, she has the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and best methods of farming. So at least something is here. Even if it is the dry season, we have some fruits which are going to give us some juice at the end of the day. So keep farming with us. Try farming passion fruits such that even if we are staying in these hot areas, in these hot seasons, we can still have juice. We can keep ourselves hydrated and we don't suffer with dehydration of the semi-arid areas. Dehydration can cause a lot of problems. But at the end of the day, you're going to stay healthy when you farm with us. I mean, subscribe to this channel. We do this together. We create very many hunger-free communities. Try farming passion fruits. Even if there are two or three of them, they'll give you something. Some juice will come on the table at the end of the day. So farm with us. Subscribe. We do this together. But above all, stay blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. See you.